In today's video, I'm doing something that kind of scares me. I'm going to be drawing right on this Herschel backpack using Posca paint pens and someone is going to win this pretty pack. Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Shada and today we're doing a backpack makeover extraordinaire. <laughs> it is September. This September, I am doing a month of giveaways and today's video is no different. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do first. So, I have a new backpack. It's from Herschel, great Canadian company. I got it in this really pretty, like grown up pink, mauve color that I love. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna make over. So I think this is a project that could be fun for anyone, for any age. It's nice to like bedazzle your stuff once in a while. <laughs> Just kidding, there's no bedazzling. Not that that's not cool. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is use acrylic paint markers to kind of just make this backpack a little more my own, except I won't be keeping it for my own as part of our month of giveaways. I'll be giving it to one of you lucky winners and someone else will have a chance to win a set of the acrylic paint markers that I'm gonna be using. So watch until the end of the video for all the contest details, you know the drill. But uh, yeah, I think this is a project for any age, for anyone, it's nice to put a little of your own stamp on your own stuff. There's so many great ways to use your creative spirit and, you know, wear that creativity. So let's get started. Here's what I'm gonna use for today's project. A cute backpack, this one is from Herschel and I just purchased it. We'll be using super trendy Posca paint pens and we'll talk about those in a sec. I've got a little design all drawn up and of course, we'll need a cup of tea cause that just makes sense. I'm gonna be honest here, I'm a little nervous about drawing on a brand new backpack, um, but I'm also excited and I'm really excited because I'm trying out these Posca paint pens. Now make sure you watch until the end of today's video because not only am I giving away the backpack, but a set of these Posca pens is also up for grabs. Now the Posca pens are really interesting because they write on so many surfaces, like wood, glass, fabric. To open them, just twist and all the um, packaging will come off pretty easily. They're also non-toxic and as you can see from my set, they come in a range of nib sizes, which is really important. Actually, if you just flip the package over, you can see all the nib sizes that are contained within my set and that's gonna give me a lot of precision. So let's try them out. I haven't tried them yet, I'm doing this on camera. I've got this little black sketchbook and since I'm doing my design all in white, I thought it would be good to try it on black paper. To get each pen flowing when it's straight out of the pack, you're gonna give them a good shake and then kind of invert the nib by pressing it into your pad of paper and eventually the ink will start to flow. If it doesn't right away, just put the cap back on, shake it again. Um, you may notice that some of the larger nibs, a big spot of ink or paint comes out. So do this on scrap paper and just test them out ahead of time. You don't wanna go right to your good project. Now we also need to test out these big guys, even though I'm not using them in this project, I wanted to see what they look like. I definitely found it takes longer to get the um, ink into the head of the pen or the nib, but that's fine. You know, again, use your scrap paper and just play around until you kind of get the feel of them and get the ink flowing freely. Let's have a little chat about the design. Now I'm not gonna get super into how I created this because I have so many floral illustration videos on the channel and I'll link some helpful ones below. But remember to do a guide. For this one, it was two circles to represent the size of the flowers. And from there, you can just add leaves and berries. Remember, simple is beautiful and check out the videos linked in the description. For the actual illustration on the pack, I'm going to use three markers, the 1M, 3M, and 5M. They all have nibs that are very similar to like a Sharpie and just three different sizes. That'll give me the precision I need to um, create this beautiful but simple floral illustration. So I guess that's it. We've prepped everything and that means we're ready to draw on the backpack. I've got a little piece of cardboard in there and that gives me a nice flat, hard area to draw on. I've also sketched out the uh, illustration, basically just the two flowers actually. I've sketched the two flowers in pencil very lightly and uh, 
uh, from there I'll just add the leaves and berries by looking at the illustration. Now I'm going to start with the 3M, that sort of medium size nib. I think that's going to be a good place to start. And what I'm going to do first is just the center of the flower, basically because it's a big mess of dots and scribbles. So that's a good place to start and kind of get a feel for how the pen performs on the backpack. And here you can see me starting to go around and complete the contour drawing. I'm going to sketch it out one petal at a time, just, you know, not rushing, taking my time. And yeah, even though I was nervous a little about this because I really didn't want to screw up the backpack, I had fun with it and it, it wasn't too bad. Like it was just like drawing with a Sharpie. The paint flowed out of the pen really nicely. It didn't dry up at any point and it also didn't come out in a big blob or splotch which can just wreck a project and is not the artist's fault. So the ink was great or the paint was great and the markers performed really well. The only thing is that you can probably see it on camera. The backpack, the fabric kind of like absorbed some of the color and so it looked very light and all I had to do was go over the design three times. So you'll notice I've already done the two flowers in the center two or three times there so they're a little more opaque and they look you know heavier and they really stand out which is nice and it's just as simple as that. You go over it two or three times and the paint builds up and you get that nice true color. I should also mention that Posca pens come in many colors. I think 60 colors or something like that. Of course I'm boring. I used white but I like that classic simple feel. So what I want to do is leave that alone and then I just decided to leave it for a couple hours, let it dry completely and then I uh, went over my design another two times. I don't know that there was like any major benefit to leaving it for a couple hours. I think I just needed a break because it was like a little stressful painting on the backpack. But um, no, just build up that color and eventually it will be nice and dark or in this case light and opaque and your design will really stand out. When drawing on the backpack, I ended up using mostly just the 3M pen and then for a few little lines right at the end, I used the 1M, the really small nib. And then that is it. She is done and I love the way it looks. My pretty Herschel backpack, I would love to keep it for moi, but I'm also very excited to run a giveaway and gift it to one of you. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video and leave us a comment below. This giveaway is not sponsored by any of the brands you see here. It is brought to you by me and Chris and someone else is gonna have a chance to win these Posca paint pens. I purchased another full set when I bought mine and I can't wait for you to win. So to enter, head over to my Instagram, follow me at Shady Campbell, find the giveaway post, like it, comment below it, and make sure to like every post from the month of September. All the giveaway rules are on Instagram, so head over there and give me a follow. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. I hope you'll try making a backpack of your own and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.